Welcome to One Year Visa. My name is Phil. In this video, I'm going to discuss my experiences, theories, and opinions on dating in Japan. I'm originally from California, and I moved to Okinawa, Japan on a student visa. I lived there for a year. I had the best time ever, but dating was more challenging than I expected. Unfortunately, I watched ridiculous YouTube videos before I moved to Okinawa that gave me false information about what the dating culture is really like in Japan. Videos like this. How Japanese, Japanese people, people confess, confess their love. love. Like, if you like someone, you just say it to your girl, like, I like you, will you be my girlfriend or something? If the girl says yes, yeah. then you can date yeah. with her. If she says no, then you can cry on my shoulder. Oh shit. So what kokuhaku is to ask someone, will you be my boyfriend or will you be my girlfriend? So in Japan, you can become a couple only if the answer is yes. Total bullshit. Unless, for some crazy reason, you're in Japanese high school, love confession is not a thing. Do you really think grown adult Japanese people are doing love confessions? They're not. So with this bullshit knowledge, I went to Okinawa and I had a similar experience to this video. Dating here in Japan can be kind of a challenge for foreigners, but it's a lot more than that. It kind of really sucks. I went on a date with a Japanese girl who I had really hit it off with who spoke good English. Amazing. Lucky me. Now, needless to say, there was no second date. I hate to criticize this guy. I'm sure he's a sweet guy, but in all honesty, he has zero chance getting a Japanese girlfriend. I say this because he clearly didn't know Japanese, like me. He's clearly beta male, like me and he clearly put very little energy into dating Japanese women, like me. So we got nothing from these Japanese women, like me. What we should have done before moving to Japan was to get in shape, get our style on point, learn some more Japanese, and watch the correct YouTube videos that are more honest about dating culture in Japan. This YouTuber guy, he's pretty funny. Uh, he's wildly overweight, but he speaks Japanese and he knows the culture and he hooks up with Japanese women from time to time. And the fact of the matter is, is that like a lot of women that I've dated, one, none of them have ever been with a foreigner before. Two, none of them spoke English. Three, I never met them at foreigner only places. And a majority of them had no ever, like they didn't have an interest in dating foreigners. Like all the women that I've dated up until this point, except for maybe one, I spoke only exclusively Japanese to. But even this channel is not the correct channel to be watching before you come to Japan. If you really want to understand Japanese dating culture, you need to watch channels like this. I first started thinking about this question when I tried dating in Japan for the very first time and found out how much of an effect the train schedule and the work schedule of the people there had on the dating culture. When you're trying to date a girl who works six days a week, her one day off is precious, and you're usually competing for her attention with a bunch of other people. 90% of the people in Japan use the train as their main uh, transportation method. And the trains end at midnight, and they don't start up till 5 a.m. Now, that was influencing my ability to get a date because many of the girls, not only did they work six days a week, they actually worked long hours. There's a lot of things about Japan that simply made it almost impossible to have a regular girlfriend. The guy says it all. He got his looks on point, he's learning the culture, he's learning Japanese, and he is understanding that most women in Japan are really too busy for a boyfriend. You might be the greatest guy ever, check all the boxes, she has no time. So he gave up on getting a girlfriend and just went for the love hotel hookup culture. Now there is hope if you want to get a real Japanese girlfriend. This is my friend, he's from France, he's charming, he's got great hair, looks good, speaks some Japanese, and he cracked the code. Hey, where are you, what's up man, where are you from? France. Uh, how long have you been in Japan? One year. Really? Yeah. Are you dating Japanese? Of course. Oh, my man, how's it going? Easy. Easy. But you have to, like my friend said, you have to go straight to the point. Hey, no messing around. No messing around, I like it. What is your advice for people uh, in America to take Japanese girls? Speak Japanese. You should not speak Japanese, you have no chance. Yeah. And just that style? Style, I don't care. You just have to be uh, to have a beer and it's okay. 
and then money. Or is it pay everything? <laughs> Actually, really? Actually, uh, they pay. They pay a lot of things. They don't have to pay everything. They treat you like it's also, yeah. Also, they treat me like king. Amazing. Wonderful. So, non-Japanese. Non -Japanese. <laughs> this is the only, only advice I can give you. Learn Japanese and be stuck to the points. And be nice, of course. Yeah. So let me explain what he did and how he got a Japanese girl to marry him. And he got the marriage visa. So soon after moving to Okinawa, he got a job at the outside comfortable Izakaya bar. And he's charming, like I said, and he's meeting all these older women. Just like in every country, just like in every YouTube video you've watched about how to meet women, it is a numbers game. He would meet countless women every night, probably get their line, and just like all women, they would ghost him, except some wouldn't ghost him, and he would take them to the love hotel. This guy was always late to class, he was always sleeping in class, this guy was destroyed. All he did was work at the izakaya late, super late at night, and hook up with these women to the point that he missed so much school that it would be impossible for him to get a second student visa this is what it takes you need to sacrifice your student visa and commit 100 percent of your time while on a student visa to getting a real japanese girlfriend the moral of the story and the final result of my friend's year living in okinawa and working at the bar one day months ago a girl from Kobe flew to Okinawa on vacation, went to his bar, fell in love with him, became a real girlfriend. She moved to Okinawa, changed her whole life up for him, and before his student visa expires, which it will soon, then he's going to get married and get the marriage visa. Okay, so now you have a basic understanding of what it's like in Japan, but I'm going to go much deeper into this dating culture than I've ever seen any other channel do. So hold on, this is what it's really like to date and hook up with Japanese women. Sorry to interrupt, but if you're serious about moving to Japan, you need to check out oneyearvisa.com. We've got a lot more videos like this and we can save you hundreds of dollars on your student visa. Click the link below. Let's start with foreign guys that are over 45 living in Japan. You are probably never gonna get laid or never gonna get a girlfriend uh, unless you are visibly rich. If you're coming to Japan and you're that age, pick a different country. Okay, next we're gonna analyze the women between 22 and 30. Most of them are single, most of them are career driven, most of them are working, like the guy said, six days a week. They're doing zangyo, which means overtime. They're going to school, they have no time. So many YouTube videos will tell you to be a gentleman when you're asking this girl out. Be a gentleman on your first date, open the door, walk on the side of the road with the cars, all this crazy nonsense. Basically, this is your one chance with this girl. She has no time for a second date. So if you behave like the perfect gentleman, I'll see you next time. Have a good night. You took her to dinner and she is gone. An article in a Japanese woman's magazine recently caused a stir online after it revealed the characteristics of the perfect man. So if that's what you want to do, be a gentleman. If you want more than that, be bold and take her to a love hotel. Personally, I went on four dates with four different Japanese women. I met them individually, randomly. I got the line, I took them on one date, I acted like a gentleman, and I never saw them again. Next thing we need to talk about are young foreign guys between the ages of 18 to 22 and young Japanese women between the ages of 18 to 22. These women are falling into two categories, what I refer to as country girls and city girls. The country girl wants to get married, have a family, and do the shufu life, the housewife life. The city girl is going to school, working two jobs, and wants to be career woman. If you're a young guy, you can meet and properly date country girls, maybe even marry the country girl. You can also meet the city girls and take them to a love hotel. You'll be able to determine what type of girl you're dealing with because one will be insanely busy and have no time, and one will be like a normal person. Obviously, these are generalizations. Everybody's unique. Everybody's special. Everything is awesome. But generally, if you come to Japan on a student visa, country girl type women are going to recognize that you're only here temporarily on a student visa to have fun. You will leave Japan eventually, and they will not take you seriously. 
because they know that students normally leave Japan. If you come here on a working visa, country girls will appreciate that. They say, oh, this guy wants to build a life in Japan. City girls will appreciate that. That guy is in Japan. Let's hook up with him. Great. When you come here as a young military guy and living in Japan, the country girls, they like that you're here for years and they like that you're making income and they like that you'll get a military pension later in life. Lots of security. They like the military guys. So let's say you're between 22 and 30 years old. The older the woman that you meet and go on a date with, the better your chances of success are. And the older they get, the more they will treat you like a king. And of course, I'm talking about hookup culture. So if that's your goal, before you come to Japan, get in shape, get stylish, learn some Japanese, and as soon as you get to Japan, wherever the city is you land, get a job in the most fun outside izakaya where you can talk to the customers and just endlessly practice your game on the Japanese women. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.